Elephant Butte Dam, originally called the Ingle Dam, was contracted on June 27, 1906. Discussion to build a dam actually began some 16 years earlier when it was determined that a dam in southern New Mexico would help control annual floods while preserving the national boundary to the Gulf of Mexico. Originally, the proposed location to build a dam was closer to El Paso, but in 1895, Nathan Boyd proposed that a site near Ingle would be capable of supplying irrigation water to 25,000 acres of rich farmland across the Mesilla Valley, as well as the El Paso and Juarez areas more efficiently. Building began, but in 1907, severe flooding caused the Rio Grande's diversion dam at Leesburg, New Mexico to be delayed, which in turn delayed the start of construction at Ingle. With the obstacles cleared, the first concrete for the Elephant Butte Dam was poured on June 3, 1913, and three years later, in October 1916, the dam was finally completed at a total cost of $5.2 million. The final structure stood 301 feet high, 1,674 feet wide, and was capable of holding over 2 million acre-feet of water. The dam was, at the time, the second largest irrigation dam in the world and included the largest man-made reservoir ever built. This dam is essential to irrigation in southern New Mexico and west Texas, so, you know, as we are nearing a, a decade of drought, this dam is more important than ever to southern New Mexicans and those living in west Texas and those who use our agricultural products all over the country and the world. When, when we don't have as big of a water supply, our irrigation season is shorter and then the um, hydro production season um, tends to be shorter because of that. Um, but the dam is doing what it was built to do, to store water in times when there is plenty and then to have that water Sorry, when we are in drought. The, the supply is what it is and we keep the farmers you know, in the loop on our accounting and how much water is available. And um, when that water is gone, they know it's gone and there, you know, there's not much anybody can do about it. It's, it's mother nature, but we have been able to store extra water here at Elephant Butte to help us through years of drought. And, you know, without this dam, we wouldn't have had water the last, yeah. you know, over the last decade. What kind of complications were encountered before and during the construction of the dam? I mean, the big thing you would expect from that time was the, you know, technology and stuff has changed so drastically. So they didn't have cranes, they didn't have the things, you know, they were they built those ta the, they built towers on both ends of the dam to then cable equipment and whatnot across. They had to before they could even build a dam, they had to build a community here to house the workers that would come in to build the dam and then they had to um, run the railroad to meet to out here they had to get the railroad out here so they had to run miles of um, railroad to get um, trains to bring supplies to the dam but for its time it was a, a really big deal and it yeah. had a really big impact and and at the time it was built a hundred years ago it wasn't expected to last a yeah. hundred years and I think this dam is in great condition, and mm -hmm. I think that's a true testament to our our employees who are out here every day with eyes on the dam mm -hmm. and taking care of any sort of projects and yeah. any sort of issues that they see arise. Is um you know this dam is still functioning yeah. great a hundred years later. There's always ongoing maintenance. Um, our dams go through rigorous inspections every year. Um, they go through various levels of inspections and depending on what is found in those, they um, determine whether different repairs are needed. And um, pretty minor repairs happen regularly and then we see when, when larger repairs are needed, they will happen as well. The facility right. is mostly funded by the United States government right. through Congress, but um, the, the irrigation districts have had 
some some of the facilities of the project turned back to them, so okay. then they're responsible for operations and maintenance of those. Yeah. So the, the two irrigation districts that are part of this project, that's the Elephant Butte Irrigation District and El Paso County Water Improvement District Number 1, mm -hmm. they do pay a portion of the operations and maintenance for here for Elephant Butte Dam. Thing. We have a preventive maintenance program that we use for uh, tracking our maintenance activities and they're, they're doing maintenance and checking things on a daily basis. Some might be more prominent than others yeah. um, and some may even seem, seem mundane, but uh, to maintain the reliability yeah, and the safety of the facility, then uh, the guys are doing it on a daily basis. The only way that we would that we would bypass water is in, in case of an emergency situation that we had flood waters and we couldn't bypass enough water to meet irrigation demands, right. or if a generator failed, one or two generators failed, and we could not meet the irrigation demands. So each one of the generators will, will release about 800 cubic feet per second. So the combined capacity for the plant is 2,400 cubic feet per second. So what we try to do is try to maintain enough water in Cavallo to, to meet our demands and then we, we can maintain our releases out of the power plant to actually maintain a, an elevation in Cavallo. The Elephant Butte Dam marked its 100th anniversary in October of 2016.